Okay, Big Ceramic Store Review Part 4. Where we last left off, we were at the trimming tools. And we talked about so much. I'm not even going to tell you. Watch the other videos if you're interested. Um, you can get bats from them, mallet hammers, everything, sieves. It just takes a minute because I'm, well, I got slow internet, first of all, and second of all, I'm recording the, the screen. So yeah, bats. Some people like these funky square bats. I don't know why. They drive me crazy because they're not like circular, but people like them. All right. And mixers. Hydrometers, Jiffy Wine Mixers, a glaze mixing paddle. I want to go back to talking a little bit about kilns. Like in our first video, um, I showed you the kiln, but I didn't show you everything. And there's lots of different types of kilns. When you purchase a kiln, you're going to want kiln furniture. Um, you're also going to want the stand and the vents. You might have to replace parts. Eventually your elements will wear out and you're going to need to replace them. Um, you may have other things that you need replacing too, um, as you can see. So, kiln furniture, post shelves, stilts, and bead racks, and I believe money, money, much, much more. As we wait. And uh, the size of the furniture that you purchase, this is the stuff that you put your kiln wash on and that you set inside your kiln. Um, it's going to depend on the kiln that you buy. So you're going to want to talk to someone from the big ceramic store to make sure that you purchase the correct kiln furniture for the size of your kiln. I'm not sure what size mine is off the top of my head, but I believe it came like in one of these kits. And I don't know... I, th I believe I had to buy it extra. I don't believe it came with the kiln, but that's another question you're going to want to ask. Um, I know they kind of set it all up themselves, I believe, but you'll want to ask them these types of questions because you're going to want to have it shipped together, um, the correct kiln furniture, have it shipped together because you get free shipping uh, when you purchase kilns from the store, and these are really heavy. So you're going to spend probably, like, if you bought it separately, I'm just ballparking it, but you might end up spending another $100 or so on shipping where you could get that for free. So um, kiln furniture is very important. Oh, let's see. We were talking about kilns. We talked about... Now we're going to talk about the stand. I believe you have to purchase the stand separate and every kiln has a different stand. Stand is what the kiln sits on. Um, I don't know. Paragon stand deluxe with casters. I have no idea because mine does not look like a series of shelves. So I'm not sure what that is. Um, mine doesn't roll either. I built a cement slab for it to rest on. Uh, mine looks like one of these two, depending on the size. Uh, I believe it's this one here because I believe I have a 12-sided kiln. Um, 
And these all say Paragon. I have a Paragon kiln. Um, I'm not sure what you would purchase if you had another brand. I would ask the big ceramic store that question to make sure you have the proper stand for your kiln. Because uh, there's different venting systems, but I did a downdraft vent system, and the, the cup for the downdraft vent system sits under the stand, sucks air under the kiln and out. Uh, I'm going to show you that right now. So as you can see, okay, a kiln, a couple thousand dollars. By the time you're done with this, it's another thousand dollars, all these different things, plus K. There it is, Orton. Orton is what goes with uh, Paragon. Let's see. And this, I believe, is the one that I purchased as a downdraft uh, method. And you've got two different options, two different schools of thought for venting your kiln. And believe me, I would highly recommend venting your kiln because of the toxins that come off in the burning process. Not to mention, I believe, carbon monoxide and other not so good things. So there's two different ways to do it. You can do the updraft method where you're your kiln uh, sits there, it cooks, and all the fumes that come off from it get vented up, almost like on your cooking range. Okay, That's one way to do it. The other method is the downdraft method. I'm not sure if it's going to show a picture, but you have to imagine this cup sitting underneath your kiln. And there's holes in the bottom of your kiln, holes in the top of your kiln. and the fan sucks air down through the kiln and out. Um, they say it's extremely effective. I don't know scientifically how effective it is, like in the sense of are you losing any fumes out from the top um, because heat rises. I know when there's like a match trick that you can do when you turn it on and you... Um, you turn the vent system on before you turn the kiln on, you strike a match, you put it near the hole and the flame gets sucked into the hole showing that there's negative pressure inside the kiln pushing air in. Um, when the kiln gets up to 2000 degrees and there's all that heat inside that wants to rise and escape from the kiln, are you still having the same effect uh, without having anything escaped? Um, I don't know because of the fact of the heat inside the kiln, maybe it sucks in enough oxygen at that point um, that it's still doing the effect. I, you know, I just don't know. That's something that you'll have to do some research on and see what works best for you. Um, when I was researching it, I believe that this is what they recommended for it. Um, I would call Big Ceramic Store though and ask them more questions about it because as I said, I think there's advantages and disadvantages to both venting systems and it took me a long time to decide between them. Um, but the other advantages to the downdraft system is that it allows new oxygen into the kiln. Um, and some people might be like, well, wouldn't that cool the kiln down? Um, I don't know. It doesn't. It still works really well. Um, it's a good question. But for, like I said, I don't really understand the science behind it exactly, but it seems to still heat effectively. And they say with a downdraft vent system that you can, um, your kiln will cool slightly uh, quicker because um, it's introducing new oxygen in, in the cooling process. Uh oh, I have 26 seconds left. And this is my last video because this is 40 minutes. And I don't think anyone's really going to be watching all these. I'm just doing it as an experiment. Um, and I hope that I, I, this is more of an experiment. So I hope my uh, tiredness isn't a downer for anybody. Uh, <laughs> I'll be making more videos in the future and, and reviewing these. So if you have any questions, please let me know. That's the end.